All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to bring you to Corvette World to show you a couple of really, really special cars from 60 years of Corvettes being built. These are two fantastic, one's a Grand Sport and the other is a Z06. And we wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison so that you guys would know all the differences between the two cars. But as they look, or as they set right here, they pretty much look like twins. So if you're excited about this, give it a big thumbs up and let's get going. All right, everyone, I am on the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum site where they are giving away a Corvette Z06 with the 70th anniversary edition plus $25,000. And because you are a Brink of Speed watcher, you will get 40% more when you buy tickets with my link in the description and in the pinned comment. Now there's only a few days left the drawing will be on August 19th. However, they are closing ticket sales on the 13th. So make sure to click on the link in the description or the pinned comment and good luck everyone. This will be an amazing car to win. All right. So a brief introduction, obviously we are in 2023. This is Corvette's 70th birthday year. We go back 10 years ago, it was Corvette's 60th birthday and then we got a couple examples here. Obviously, over the years, there have been numerous anniversary examples, 78, 88, 93, 2003, 2013, 2018, and now 2023. So these two examples here are a classic example of what the 70th anniversary package looks like, unlike uh, 2023 and uh, the, you know, where you have two different color options. All 60th anniversary editions came as Arctic White with the diamond blue interior uh, option. So regardless, they were always gonna be that. The only variations were as far as the coupes, convertibles, Grand Sport coupes and convertibles, you can get them in a 3LT or a 4LT option trim level. Whereas the ZR1s and Z06s and the 427 convertible, you can only get in the uh, top trim levels in which was the 1SC, the 3LZ and a 3ZR. This example you're seeing right here, this Grand Sport is a 4LT package, which is the equivalent of the 3LZ for the uh, Z06. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they have the same leather dash, door panel, and of course the diamond uh, blue stitching everywhere. The 3LT, if this were a 3LT, it would have the vinyl dash and door panel, not the leather. Other things about the anniversary edition that came standard you saw was magnetic ride. Magnetic ride was added to all the anniversary cars just like it had been in the centennial edition the year earlier. So if you go in here, you'll see this Z06. Even though this is not a Z07 package, it still gave you the F55 magnetic select ride. Reading through it, the only way to get a Z06 with mag ride without the Z07 was in either the centennial or the 60th anniversary editions. And that goes for this as well. Exactly, yep, for the Grand Sport. So a quick breakdown, had to do a little extra research here because I was able to dig up the production number. So just to give you an example, there were widespread, but some more common than others. There were only 41 base coupes, 31 convertibles versus Grand Sports. You had 441 coupes in anniversary edition versus 258 convertibles. There were 1,088 427 convertibles. For the 60th anniversary, there were 103 Z06s, so very low production numbers. Breaking through it also, just for everybody's FYI, there were 138 ZR1 60ths. So actually the rarest of all the anniversary editions were the uh, base coupe and convertibles, but behind that, the Z06 was the third rarest of the anniversary editions produced at only 103. This particular model here, may you notice some people, for those that don't know Corvette history, the cup wheel actually debuted in 2012 as an option on the Centennial Edition for the Z06 and the ZR1, and then later reprised in this generation for both of them and the 427, later re resurrected in the C7 Grand Sports. Grand Sport, of course, came standard with this typical five spoke that was standard throughout its entire run from 2020 to 13. This one here has the black finish, but they also came in silver and in the machine face finish as well. Obviously, when you look at these two cars from the front, right off the bat, you can see they got, both of them have the Z30 stripe package. So they look almost identical with the inlets, but it's pretty cool that we have this. We actually got some of the options. You have the standard aero piece, which came standard on all the Grand Sports and the Z06s. And then you have the optional carbon fiber ZR1 style aero, which of course this was standard in ZR1, but optional for the Grand Sports, the 427 and the Z06. This one also has the optional 
cyber gray headlamp color override oh, yeah. versus the normal standard body color. So That's again, cool. I didn't notice those that. were optional. That is a big difference right there. Very cool. From the sides, you can see the differences in the gills. Yes. Z06s had a single gill pumped out with the badge in the middle in the inlet, or it's, I should say the escape port, versus all the Grand Sports. It physically kind of sticks out the same, but it's they call it the double gill, so they got two cuts in it, and you got the Grand Sport on the top portion. Yes. And I see that this also has the, is this a ZR1? Yes. Side skirt? Side skirt, yeah. So if you get yeah. the front, you come standard with the side nice. as well. Again, which is optional. Whereas if you got the base setup, you have no, no side skirt at all. And that's what we have on the Z06 over here is no side skirt. Yep. Okay. All the, uh, generally speaking, all the anniversary editions came standard with the zero one rear spoiler. However, I have seen a handful of overrides over the years where they put the full width spoiler on them. Oh, okay. Like a taller one. And of course, if it came with the PDE track package or the Z07 package for the Z06 or Z01, you would also get the full width spoiler in black. Nice. With the stripes going through them if you had the stripe package. Opening it up here, you're going to see a very similar layout between the two vehicles here. Obviously, this being a 4LT, you get the leather here up on the upper portion. You get the microfiber suede down here, leather on your armrest leather on your dash, suede, steering wheel, and the 60th embroidery emblems, door sills are all coming with it. You go over to the 60th, co 6 We'll do it from the passenger side, just to give a little diversity, but you get to see it's virtually the exact same physical layout. Oh yeah. Even the shifter arrangement. So pretty much, as far as the interior goes, it's pretty much a powertrain difference. The only things that are obvious differences that were options were the Grand Sport had the removable Targa top, so you can get them as well in the transparent. And if you had the stripe package, they would actually put the stripes on the transparent nice. top. co 6 and zero ones of course, were all hard tops, yeah. so you got them in a no fixed position. Top. Yep. One thing I want to mention as another option on the Z06 that was also available on the 427 convertible was the optional carbon fiber hood. Now, Really? Well, yes. Nice. It was optional. Again, some had it, some didn't. So the 60ths, some of them had it, some didn't. And you can tell right away because it'll have a bigger cowl. It, in fact, it's, ex it's an identical hood to the ZR1, just without the glass transparency. Okay. So is it the same hood that you get on the Carmen Edition Z06? Exactly, yeah. The Carmen okay. Editions all came standard with the carbon fiber um, right. hoods on the Z06. And the big cowl. But as far as, uh, you know, when you get to 2012 and 13, those became optional. Well, it was no different, obviously, for this car and the 427 convertible, you had the optional carbon fiber. Nice. It was not trimmable based. You either order it or you don't order it, okay. just like some of the other features we've talked about. Sure. So here we have an LS3. And since this is a manual, the manual Grand Sport Coupes are the only way you can get the, what they call the Z52 dry sump option in the LS3 motor, which this one has. If you look, you'll see it does have the dry sump over here in the corner, replacing the spot where the battery would normally sit for the C6. This, of course, was obviously standard in all Z06 and ZR1s. Right. But this is the only way you could get it in an LS3, was a Grand Sport Coupe and a manual. If you had a convertible and a manual, you didn't get it. So, wow. Yep. But otherwise, standard setup. Come over to the Z06. You can see, dry yes. sump over here. Obviously, a bigger, largest, actually, to this day, the largest small block ever produced. Uh, 505 horsepower, naturally aspirated. And uh, But other than that, you see the general layout of... Um, you know, all your uh, component features are the same, just yes. a bigger motor. And as far as exhaust goes, are there a difference? So, yes. So all Z06s and ZR1s and 427s came standard with MPP exhaust, period. Okay. Ironically, they were also all manuals. Whereas the Grand Sport, you can get automatic or manual, and it was optional to get the MPP exhaust. Does this one have MPP? This one does have it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, but Great. again, it was optional. It was not standardized. Sure. So, so you may have it, you may not. And as I mentioned earlier, yeah, for the Z06, the optional PDE track package was available for this. How many in 60th? I didn't get that far in my breakdown research, but there were definitely less of them, obviously, but only 103. I'm sure it was probably 10, maybe 20% of total production that had them. And of course, the, PD, the, the uh, Z07 track package gave you the big J57 uh, brakes right. and came standard with the Pilot Sport Cup. Well, now we know them as the Sport Cup 1 tire because they were sure. replaced later. And uh, the full width spoiler in black. Also with the Aero Kit as well. The Z07 track package came with the Aero Kit, same as the ZR1.
This Grand Sport here, the way this thing was ordered, obviously it was ordered with the, think about it, your upgrades on this one are the aero kit, the MPP exhaust, it being the manual. The headlights. The, the headlights, the manual was an upgrade from the automatic in this, in this setup. So, because it gave you the Z52. So this is the most loaded about a Grand Sport could ever get. The only other upgrade option that was available at this time would have been the transparent top, which is again, for some is subjective. So now check this out. We've got a 2013 with 20,000 miles for 47,000 Grand Sport. Grand Sport. The Z06 is a little different on the price. So this only has 4,800 miles, almost 4,900 for 63,000. So basically a $16,000 difference. Right, yes. And again, if it would be obviously to be more fair if the mileage was more equal to sure. each other. If, sure. this, if this were, if this Grand Sport had this kind of mileage, this thing would probably be a 51, 52 car. Right. Uh, but again, still a 10 grand difference under the C06. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well that is gonna wrap this up. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you guys own one of these, Link it down in the comments below. If you, or put it in the comments down below. If you wanna own one of these, contact uh, Robert or Jim through the link in the description below. But I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys out on the road.